All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be learning about optical illusions. So let's get started. All right, how's it going guys? Uh, well, this project is one of my favorites to teach because it's very simple and it turns out really, really cool. There is an easy way, there's a medium way, and there's a hard way to do this project. I'm gonna show you guys all three. And there's other ways that I probably haven't taught you yet or will not teach you because it's a little more intricate and more advanced. But at least we can get a good start of how optical illusions work. Now, what is an optical illusion? Optical illusions are basically uh, a way how to trick the eye to thinking what it sees is real, such as like maybe something that's going like down a hall that's not really hall. Maybe that's something to make it look like it's moving and stuff like that. So anyways, let's get started with some easy ones. So what you need is a blank sheet of paper for practice. And I want you guys to see which one you guys like best and feel more comfortable with. Not necessarily easy is the easiest one and not necessarily the hard one is hard either. You might think they're all easy. You might think they're all hard as well. So I'm going to do this in marker. If you want to do this in pencil so you guys can erase later on, you can. But I'm going to do marker so it's a little bit easier to see on camera. So I'm going to do a couple colors here to represent the um, difficulty. So let's do easy first. What I'm going to do is show you guys how each of them work and then we'll work on the shading so you guys can see how each of them turn uh, like an optical illusion. So the easy one, all you're going to do is go from this corner and go down an angle and you're going to zigzag from top to bottom just like so. Just like that. Now what you're going to do, take one of the points, either this point right there or this point right there and what you're going to do is you're going to kind of make a point by going and creating a curve that's kind of emphasizing a circle that's coming from that point right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to space it out evenly and keep doing my curves as I go up, just like so. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the next point. So here I go, right here. And the bigger bend of the curve, the more three-dimensional it'll look, just like so. All right, you must be asking yourself, what do I do with the other sides? You're gonna go on the other points on the opposite side and curve the other way, like this. And the curves don't have to match up. They just happen to do that automatically for me. See, there you go, I'll do it to make it look like it's not connecting, because it doesn't have to. All right, so these ones are curving halfway. All right, so it looks kind of like an optical illusion already. It's kind of tricking your eye, which is great, but it'll look better once we start shading. All right, the medium one, very simple. I'll do it in green. You're just gonna make an X somewhere. Maybe I'll do an X right here, very off, like that. All I'm gonna do next is make a cross. So maybe a T, like this. Now, same idea that we did here, but the points are all in the center. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna curve one way for one triangle. And then you're gonna curve, make sure you skip a spot or skip a triangle, just like so. Now keep doing this for all of them, skipping every other one. And there should be a correct amount where it's every other triangle. Now, before you start the other sides and go the opposite direction, I'm going to tell you guys this. It's a lot easier to go from the outside and work your way in if you're going the opposite direction. So I'm going to go like that. Okay, here's one side. And notice how it's going the opposite way, but I'm starting from the outside because I'm telling you guys right now, it'll be a lot easier. Okay, there we are. And here we go. Oh, that looks really, really trippy <laughs> but that's the medium version and again you might find them all easy that's fine all right next up is the hard one it's fun to do all right first step you're gonna create a slight wavy line in the middle just like so and then you're gonna make wavy lines going up and down from the top to the bottom here's one here's two here's another one and I have probably have space for more like that all right now, the places where they intersect in the middle, these points, we're going to be making footballs out of those points by connecting curves from one side to the other. 
So I think the best way to explain this is to change color. So I'll just do maybe blue or something. So I'm gonna be making footballs by using these points. So here's a point right here. Here's a point right there. So I'm gonna connect them together by making a football. You're just gonna be making footballs all the way down the middle. So this is how the ends of the papers would work. Just like so. And just like that. So that part's done. Now we're gonna be using these miniature footballs to tell us which way the lines curve. So over here, if the line curves this way, I know everything above that curves that direction. Just like so. Anything below that line, I know it curves that direction as well. See? Pretty simple, right? So I'm gonna kinda finish this off for you guys, just so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, there we are. And here is the side. And you wanna make sure you space it out evenly. And again, the bigger and deeper the curve, the more three-dimensional it'll look. All right, so the hard one is completely done. Now, when it comes to shading, um, I'm gonna tell you guys how it works. So over here, I have a really complicated example. Basically, what's gonna happen to make it look three-dimensional, like how I have here, looks like a bunch of tubes, you're gonna go from dark to light to dark, the middle being the lightest and the two ends being uh, the darkest. So let me show you guys how that works with the easy one. So maybe this one will go really dark. This side will go really dark. And as I meet it in the middle, I get lighter and lighter and lighter. And we learned this already in the go live session. This is called value. Just like that. So it looks more three dimensional. I'm gonna skip a spot and go down. And I'm gonna go to the tip. Like that. And I think I have a spot right here where I can go inwards like that. Ta-da! And then I can go to a different color. Maybe I'll go to red orange. And do the ones I missed. Like that. So I'm gonna color dark to light to dark. Dark to light to dark. Alright. And that's how this product oh uh, sorry, how this project turns out three-dimensional. So it's really cool, a really neat optical illusion. So what you're gonna do on a blank sheet of paper of your choice or a new sheet of paper, you're gonna pick one of these. So either pick easy, medium, or hard. So I'm gonna pick one of my favorite ones. I think I'm gonna do hard, but I'm gonna do it vertically instead. So why don't I take a marker? I'm gonna prefer to do black. I'm gonna outline the edge first so I have a nice even border. I'm not going to use a ruler because I kind of like the style of it being a natural hand-drawn line. kind of like that. Alright. I could have used a ruler, but again, I kind of like the style. And then I'm going to draw my middle wavy line, but instead of going this way, I'm going to go vertical. I'm going to go up and down like this. And then I'm going to do a couple random lines left to right. So here's one. Here's another one. Here's another one like that. This side I'll probably just do one like that. All right, so now I'm gonna do the curves. Again, the football rule. Here's my footballs. They look perfect, as can be. I'm gonna go a tad bit quicker so I don't waste your time. I don't think this is gonna be 15 minutes. I think this is gonna be longer than 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start from the top and do really large curves here. Go this direction. This way with these ones. And go this direction with these ones. Go this way with this one. Go this way with this one. All right, it's looking super, super complicated so far and super cool. And again, the further they are and the deeper the curve, the more three-dimensional it'll look. So that's why these curves are going really big. All right, let me do this last section right here. And I should be ready to color a little bit. All right, there we go. 
since it's the fall, I might as well choose fall color. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to choose hmm, purple. No, oh, I did purple already. Why do I do, um, let's see. I'm going to do orange, orange, and lime green. Yeah, I'm going to do those colors. Let's see how this looks. Ready? Here we go. Dark to light to dark, dark to light to dark. So this might take a while, but as you can see, an easy way to do this is just to mark off where everything is. That way you don't get confused later on. So I'm just doing the dark parts of the edges of this one. And then I'll go back and do the other sides, just like so. Oops, see, I messed up already. <laughs> it's okay if you mess up, because I just did. All right, let's do the orange in there. There we go. All right, I'm glad I chose these two colors. It looks super, super cool already. All right, there we go. I'm gonna keep going. I might have to speed up the video, so I'll do that if I have to. put this crayon away and I'm pretty sure I'm done so anyways I hope you guys enjoy this lesson of optical illusions uh, tell me guys which one you guys did end up doing I end up doing the hard one I would love to know if you guys did an easy or medium one as well uh, but anyways I'll see you guys in the next video I can't wait to see you guys do this project so that's it I don't know <laughs> all right bye bye Tell you